everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. Welcome into this Adobe Illustrator tutorial where we're going to use Smart Guides, the pen tool and the shaper tool to create a sick looking flame icon easily in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump in and check it out. Here in Illustrator, I will first import a page of sketches by going File Place and then finding my scanned sketches on my hard drive. Lock that layer up by clicking next to the eyeball icon in the Layers panel. Create a new layer above the sketches. This is where we'll build the flame. Next, grab the Ellipse tool. Hold down the Shift key and drag out a perfect circle over the base of one of the flame sketches. Hit the Fill Swatch in the Properties panel and then hit the Slash icon to dump the fill and then choose any color for the stroke that you want. Next, go View Smart Guides and using Smart Guides, this is going to help us with precise drawing. So grab the pen tool and notice as we hover over the ellipse path, we can now create a new path exactly on that point on that path to ensure the shapes will fit together perfectly. So use the pen tool and trace out some flames as best you can. Use those tangent handles to tweak and adjust any path and just make it look you know, as right as it will. Next, grab the selection tool and drag a selection over both shapes and hit shift and the letter X to push the stroke color over into the fill. Then find the shaper tool, which is located beneath your normal shape tools in the toolbox. Hold down the alter option key and squiggle a line across the two bits of the flame going upward just to knock out a bit of the shape left in there where it overlaps. This is now a shaper group and we can apply colors and gradients directly to this group as if it was a solid shape. So go window swatches to open the swatches panel and hit the new swatch icon. We're going to set the RGB levels of a new swatch to red 255, green 236, and blue 69. And then create a second swatch and set the RGB levels of this one to red 232, green 31, and blue 50. Open the gradient panel and drag one of these colors from the swatches panel to each of the gradient stops to replace the default gradient with our much hotter fire gradient. Select the flame shape and click the gradient swatch in the gradient panel and set the angle to negative 90 degrees. Now we can have some fun duplicating our fire by alt or option dragging copies of the flame out and resizing each one with the transform handles right here in Adobe Illustrator.